Hi, I'm Zanzi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News on Zanzi. If you're new to my channel, you know here for the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and of course... The Zanzi, pinch yourself. You have every right to question reality right now. We keep sighing in disbelief at the movie-like scenes before us, starting to feel like we're extras in this romantic thriller. Dangerous and in love, or monsters and romance sounds like the perfect title for Dr. Nandi Pamagodumana and Tabo Besta's deceptive, evil and unthinkable alleged romance. It would be so much better if it were all fiction and entertainment, but unfortunately, there are people, families and lives destroyed and lost due to dangerous and in love couple on the run. They are those who have crawled so that uh, the likes of Dr. Nandipa and her alleged debut can run. Now, in 1983, Deborah Brown met Alton Coleman, a criminal convicted of sex crimes. In 1984, it is reported that a day before his trial for R-A-P-I-N-G, a 14-year-old a girl, the in-love couple fled. During their on-the-run escapade, they killed eight people, committed seven arps, kidnapped three people and carried out 14 armed robberies in the U.S., now, Dr. Nandipa and Tabo Besta are believed to have orchestrated the greatest escape at the Mangawung Maximum Prison in May 2022. Tabo, a convicted oropist and murderer, was allegedly helped by prison officials and, of course, his medical doctor alleged girlfriend to escape prison. Now, according to reports, she helped fake his death, lied to the court and said she was his wife while claiming Tabo's a dead body. And by the way, someone else died in the process so that she and Tabo, also known as the Facebook Oropist, could live a lavish everyday life freely, buy groceries in Santon, drive Porsches, live in mansions and make millions out of scamming people through other dubious activities they got up to. Now, moreover, probably the most unfathomable fact I can't reconcile with, she seemingly let her two daughters live in the same house as this dangerous man who confers to Oroping woman so casually. After fleeing their rented mansion, journalist Alex Patrick captured a picture on the door of her daughter's bedroom, Do Not Enter, and a sketch of a sad face with a speech bubble that reads, Ever heartbreaking, telling a thousand words. Now, if as a total stranger, I feel appalled by just looking at the drawing, I keep thinking, what was going on in the good doctor's mind when she saw the drawing every day in her house? What kind of a drug is this love? Now, police want her to, uh, for her alleged crimes. Her life has been uh, turned upside down because of uh, what, a love? Now, we've been asking ourselves, what possessed her? How did she get here? Why would a beautiful, intelligent and accomplished woman like her let her uh, reputation perish like this? We want it to make sense, but it doesn't. Now, let's not victim shame, a colleague said when we deeply discussed this type of best of surreal saga. Did I just hear victim? I thought to myself. Now, respectfully, I believe drawing the victim card in her defense is way too convenient. In 2002, Elton was sentenced to death and Deborah was sentenced to life in prison. It is reported that the decision was made because her IQ was low and that she was in a master-slave relationship. Are we also going to agree that this is the case for Dr. Nandipa, that her life is in danger at the hands of Tabo? Another dear colleague said she must return and confess her crimes and uh, maybe they will be lenient towards her. Now, are you telling me that uh, should Nandipa come back from wherever she is hiding, all will be forgotten? Now, we still don't know whose charred body was found at that prison. Someone died so she could be with the love of her life. People were scammed and who knows what else is unraveling. Now, although psycho psychologist Dr. Portia Monapula Mozabane was not giving perspective, particularly on this case, she answered the question, what makes women willing and open to please for love, no matter its risk? Now, many women who fall in love with criminals are motivated by a desire for love, affection and companionship. They may be willing to overlook the risks involved in these relationships due to feelings of loneliness, low self-esteem or belief that they can change their partner's behavior. How often do we hear someone, I love saying something like, he completes me. Now, Mzansi, she adds that when it comes to willingness to taking risks for love, there are many factors that can influence a person's behavior. One one common factor is a deep-seated desire for companionship and intimacy, which can sometimes override a person's better judgment. Now, furthermore, some women may have low self-esteem or a fear of being alone, leading them to make choices that are not in their best interest. Now, a case of fatal attraction 
Dr. Nandipa definitely dug herself into one deep grave. And now at this point, she probably has no choice but to do as instructed by her lover. Even if she wants to redeem herself and turn herself in, Tabo is probably telling her what to do. What about her daughters? I hope they are safe and unharmed. She is with a murderer who justified killing a person like it wasn't much of a, a big deal. Now she is with a man who is capable of the worst. And perhaps when her father says he fears for her, it is justified. He told ENCA she is in hiding, adding that he is worried about his daughter. Now I must admit, and I hate it too, a part of me can't help but feel a little sympathetic, but I am willing to fight it off. It is because I'm a woman. Women are vulnerable, right? I pause to think what if she is under the spell of a born criminal who has complete autonomy over her feelings and thoughts? What if Tabo is just that good of a mastermind? As we scrape for answers, theories and clues, for all we know, they are probably on a yard somewhere and have forgotten about their past lives, just like in the movies. Wow, well put together by a journalist called Bonolo Sigudu, bringing light to all the questions that we have been asking ourselves. What led Nandipa uh, in this messy messy dangerous love now do leave your thoughts in the comment section you know i love to hear from you but for now you know i will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it